Hey guys, this is Logan with IGR Rips, and we're back to do one more run through Ixalan Set Boosters. <clears throat> I'm not going to say that this will be forever the last time I open any Ixalan Set Boosters or Ixalan, period. But this is the last box I've currently set aside to be opened. I'm pretty well got a good selection for the store from this set. Now, it is it does sell well. I'm not saying it's not selling, but... Um, I, just, I pretty much got what I need for now, and uh, my box topper stream is coming up in just about uh, two days from the day we're recording this on whatnot, so I'm not even really in need of a lot more box toppers, so this will probably be one of the last times we see Ixalan on this channel, at least for a while. Now, I'm always on a lookout for deals. If I get a good deal on a couple cases of it or something, we very well could go back to the well one more time, um, but we'll see. Ooh, starting off with a double hit. Not bad. Um, while we're doing this, we're going to do a little bit of standard discussion. So standard RCQ season is turning up. The first RCQ is around here next weekend. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make it to any because um, my son's in sports and he's got some games. So I'm not sure uh, if I'll make it to any in the next couple weeks. I will definitely make it to some before the season ends, but... Maybe a few weeks before I get to go to my first one. Another double hit. Not bad. But I have definitely been doing some practicing in standard. I have been doing some testing, looking at deck lists, getting ready for the season. I'm still on domain right now. Um, built a few decks for the store. Right now the store decks that I've built and sort of played with a little bit is the Mono Red Aggro list. And, uh, no, that's not bad. Ooh! So far, we had two hits in each pack. Not bad at all. Um, Mono Red Aggro, and I just finished up Ragdo Sacrifice. I only got to run Ragdo Sacrifice through a couple of times, but it, feel, it felt really good the couple of times I ran it. Very smooth deck. Um, sort of played the game by myself for the most part, so really wasn't bad at all. I was really impressed with how smooth the deck ran. Um, just purely off a of deck list, no tweaking, no playing with it at all. And deck list for standard, for anybody who's not as familiar or not as refined, not nearly as refined as like modern deck lists where they're kind of not hammered down. Modern Pioneer, the deck lists are really refined, really efficient. Standard just isn't quite as refined because there's not near as many people playing it. And with the rotation, uh, stuff gets a lot wonkier. Got to kill him. Um, Ragnar Sacrifice definitely impressed me. Um, it's not quite enough. It hasn't pulled me off of Domain yet, which I have been open about on a couple of videos ago when we talked briefly on Standard, that I am not hard, hard stuck on Domain. That is what I have built. That is what I'm currently planning to be registering, but I'm still kind of like not set on it. Um... <clears throat> I, I definitely want to play with the Rakdos Sacrifice list a little bit more. It uh, it felt good, but I don't know if it felt quite good enough to deal with some of the crazier things in the format. Ooh, that's a nice special guest. Let's go. It's not a um, Mana Crypt, but hey, we'll take it. But yeah, it feels pretty good. Um, Domain, I played a few more rounds with Domain. I won another of one of our store tournaments with it. I won our store champion with it. It's definitely a good list. Uh, I've seen some people modifying the list and throwing Nissa in there, and I have not got to try that yet, but I'm definitely interested by it. Um, I think Nissa could be a very good add to it because that's one of the things I've found is you don't have enough in that five mana slot as everything's counting on you to hit, you know, six, seven mana, you've got a couple things that you can cast at five mana, but I think something that I can get out earlier would definitely help the deck. And Nissa just making threat after threat and uh, doing all the uh, pumping and stuff that Nissa does definitely feels like it could be a good add. I have not got to try that yet, but I've seen it on showing up on some lists that people are doing that. Um... Other decks that I've seen either do really well or that I'm personally a little interested in, um, the 
blue white soldiers deck is really nice um tashana is just such a weapon and it shuts down so many things um and then you throw in some wedding announcements and then the schooner from ixalan my god is there just so much value come out of that card like i hate seeing one of those land against me i'm immediately like oh, i've got to deal with this or it is gonna hurt me bad because it just constantly letting people letting them explore and pump their creatures it just gets so gross so quickly um the esper mid-range deck is definitely a heavy contender very strong um i'm actually working on building it out now for the store i'm still missing a few things and uh i'm waiting to see what trade-ins come in for the next week because some of the things i'm missing is still kind of high and i'm missing about half the deck so i try not to go out you know really searching for them outside of my own store until i get a little bit closer because we do have so much come through Ooh, roaming throne that's a good one um But yeah, Esper Midrange is the next one on my build list. Um, I think it's a good deck. I've seen it in Arena some. I'm about to break down and start doing some testing on MTGO. I have refused because I said I wasn't going to get another outlet to try to play and have to pay for cards and all that stuff. But I just think the, the value there is too good. I'm going to have to just break down and set it up and rent some decks and really do some heavy play testing on mtgo i've resisted it for a while but i think i'm gonna have to be there i really prefer playing in paper over any online format um it's just what i enjoy i enjoy actually physically holding the cards i feel like i'm more focused Ooh, galta that's not a good hit um but what can i say you just can't get enough um you can't get enough practice in person whenever for to really be efficient if i'm really going to make a regionals run and i'm really going to try to push to qualify this season like i said i may miss the first few weeks of the season because family does come first before magic um enough uh, i spend a lot of time on magic and other card games because i do own a game store but uh before i'm going off competing and trying to win my way into a regional tournament i'm gonna spend time with my family if they've got events Ooh, look at that tashana's tide binder such a good card can literally not get enough that card was underrated at first that card is really good that i have actually added into my deck list for domain i've changed it out i'm not seeing a lot of people running it yet looking at other deck lists and i do not understand why um free mana ramp for domain that's great Anything that, I mean, that's what we're doing the whole time anyways with the Pirate Stompers and, and um, the Invasion of Zendikars and stuff like that. It's just trying to mana ramp. That also mana ramp, and it makes all your tri lands come in untapped. So I don't understand why more people aren't running it, but I've really enjoyed what that's done with the deck. It seemed like it's really, really boosted the deck. Uh, I love the way it feels with Spelunking in there. But I still need more testing. Standard has been a hard push. Uh, building the store decks and having decks available. So when people are in there, be like, hey, you want to play a standard tournament tonight? And they're like, oh, I don't have a deck. Well, we've got a deck for you. You know, if you pay the entry fee, you're welcome to use one of the decks we have available. And uh, that has seemed to sort of kick people along and get them... A little bit more excited to jump in um sorry about that my wife's phone's ringing over there um but that has been a success so far we've got a few we've started getting more entries which is letting me get more testing in and of course it helps push prizing up because we got more prizes going into the pool and such um so that's always a good thing Hold on one second. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, there we go. Got that thing shut up. I kept thinking whoever it was would quit calling, but it kept going. <laughs> um, and my wife is working right now, so she couldn't answer. Anyways. Got the Poet of Unity. But definitely, definitely I found some success there. Things are going well with the uh, store tournaments getting a lot more entries per event 
since people have decks to play. I think people have just a hard time breaking out of the commander mold of they can just sort of build with whatever they've got and it's good enough. But if you try doing that and enter in a tournament, a lot of times things don't go your way. And I've tried, but as I get people in playing 60 card, competitive, the higher paced, can play three games the amount of time it take would take to play one in Commander, people tend to enjoy it and they sort of come back. So I'm hoping we can grow our competitive community locally. Ooh, the ancient one. Same bit of bad box. But let's see, what else in Standard has looked well? Um... The, the Golgari mid-range deck definitely feels okay. Um, it's got a bunch of good cards in it, but it feels like it's not quite consistent enough from what I've seen. Um, even run up against it. Um, there's some games where it just feels like it's really strong and really powerful when I'm playing against it. And then sometimes it just feels like they don't really do much. You can deal with their Dread Knight, you kind of... In, and their shieldreds and stuff, you kind of, you kind of in their deck. Don't feel quite, they don't feel quite threat heavy or consistent enough to sort of really attract my attention as much as I hoped it would when I seen the list. Because when I seen the list, I was like, man, this this really looks interesting. But it just didn't, it didn't quite live up to the expectations. Another list card. Um. Now, there is a Jund mid-range deck I've actually got printed off. I plan on trying to build um, as one of my store decks. I like the Jund list pretty well. Um, looking at it, I hadn't played it yet, but um, definitely looks interesting. Uh, let's see. We're almost at the end of the box. Is there anything else? Uh, there's a couple of Toxic lists that were interesting. I haven't seen one be quite consistent enough yet to make me think I would really want to go for the toxic game plan, but definitely some interesting stuff happening there. Wow, a school's floor nexus. <sighs> but yeah, that's pretty much what I've seen so far in standard. Um, still on domain for now, but we'll see what happens as the uh, RCQ season really gets in full swing. I may move off of that. If so, I will be sure to update y'all. Ooh, the green god. That was a nice pack to end it on. Um, as always, we are Infinite Gaming Respawn. You can find us online at www.infinitegamingrespawn.com. You can find us on Facebook at Infinite Gaming Respawn. You can find us on whatnot at IGR underscore NC. You can find us on TCG Player. If you want to buy some of the cards you've seen open today, our TCG Player is IGR NC. Um, definitely check us out there. And uh, this is our hits for today, guys. This is our rares and list cards. We got a couple of really good hits. Like, this really hasn't been a bad box. Which Ixalan, in general, has been very good to me. I will say, like, of course, I've got some boxes that were definitely subpar. But for the most part, this has been a really good set to me. And doesn't look like this one really um, disappointed either. Like, this was some pretty good heat in this box. So, very happy, very happy. This will probably be the last time you see Ixalan for a while. I know for Magic, for the next little upcoming, we've got a set booster value evaluation we're going to do uh, for a while to drain to go with the draft booster that we did before. Um, and that's all I've got set aside right now. I will definitely be doing more. Magic is my biggest, biggest seller, so it gets open plenty. Um, we also got some Flesh and Blood Lorcan and Pokemon scheduled for this week. So definitely check that out if you're interested in those games. Uh, subscribes helps us so much, guys. So much. I cannot stress how much subscri uh, subscribing helps us. The more subscribers we get, the more boxes we can open. Because, yes, while I get money selling these cards, like, I have to kind of keep it within what's selling and, you know, how much is selling. If I start getting overstocked, I've got to pull back. Um, whereas, if we can get above that subscriber threshold where we get monetized with ads... I'll do a box opening every day because the ads will cover the boxes until I can get the stuff sold. So definitely subscribing helps more than you know. Even just a simple smash that subscribe button, you know, that, that would be greatly appreciated. Anyways, guys, we'll see you again next time. Bye.